the next seed in my series is uh, an important idea that separates the the religious and, and believing community from the atheist evolution believing. So there's a creation believing uh, population and an evolution believing population and here's where the seed splits down the middle literally. It's in DNA. Now next in the scriptures in the book of Genesis it says that dry land appeared. Now, of course, the earth was formless and void, and we, we got uh, the water separating from the water. And the earth was all water, and then all of a sudden, God made dry land appear, and he made seas. And on a dry land, and probably in the limnetic zone of the waters, he made plant life. Now, that plant life um, was created, but not only was it created, it has seeds in it. And so the series seeds. And these seeds have a special code inside. And inside that genetic code is the DNA and RNA instruction code to remake itself. And here's the argument from evolution. Well, this happened over billions of years. Now, okay, well, I could see that no, I really can't see. But over over billions and billions of years, how something exploded, or something came into being with purpose, okay? In other words, either the Big Bang happened without God, or the Big Bang happened with God, and when it happened with God, God put order in the Big Bang, so that this way it would become planets and stars and an eye and a human life, or it just happened randomly and nothing exploded, and we don't know where we got all the elements, and somehow or another, they, uh, instead of going into total chaos and more chaos, they became joined together and became orderly. This is the difference between evolutionary thought and and uh, creationism thought right here and um, so according to the atheist and the evolutionist um, by chance life was created and life replicated itself now when we look at the complexity of life it's not so simple Everybody, just about everybody knows that there's a DNA code. And just how big the DNA code is, nobody, you know, like, it's, it's huge. It's, it's something like, you can't conceive of it because it's almost uh, 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 like the budget. What's the difference between a billion and a trillion? Ah, five trillion, two trillion, three million. In the mind, you just can't wrap your head around the numbers. They're just numbers on a page. But a trillion is much more than a billion. A billion is big enough, and a million is huge. So, in Encyclopedia Britannica has been used to, 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 to talk about the size of the genetic code that's inside life itself. And inside that genetic code is an instruction code on how to remake itself, cell division. And how, that all, how it all came about by chance that a cell was born and that it became a plant and it had to divide itself. And everything that was in that cell came about as a result of chance and we'll make our odds better by making it over a billion years. Um, in, in every plant cell and every cell in the, in the universe that has life in it, um, there's a diribonucleic acid cell, DNA cell, that is split down the middle by another molecule, uh, helicase. It's like a boom. It splits it like a zipper. Because that's what your DNA looks like. It looks like a zipper. And it's unsplit. And then enzymes attach themselves as a primer to start to rebuild in two different ways each side to make it the same. And this replicating, for it to have come about, about by chance, you know, you admit that roll the dice, I don't care how many billions of years, you're never going to get a DNA, RNA, replication, which is cell division. In other words, reproduction of cells. Uh, so I'll leave it there. Thank you.